Good night. Hello, good evening. How are you? <laughs> Very good. Thank good? You. Yeah. Excellent. How was your weekend? How was your day? Yeah, working. Good? Many work. Oops. Oh, you have a lot of work? I yeah. totally understand. <laughs> Nice to see you. Um, yes, tell me, Ronan. <clears throat> Bar six yesterday. No. I no. The thing that my computer was uh, got stuck, so I don't know what happened, but I get the technician to fix that. But okay. now I think that is working <laughs> very well. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, because I was not able to be with you. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, but we are going to have another topic today, so we are going to learn. Okay, so let's see, we have Axel, David, Claudia, Ronald, Raimundo, Betania, and Anna. Nice to see you guys. So now let's see. Just bear with me, I don't know what happened. Oh. Give me just a moment. Okay. Okay, let me share my screen. Right okay. The topic for today's class is present continuous and be going to, and it's a review, okay? So let's start with a little warm up so we can see this example here. One moment, please. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So tell me, um, David, I'm going to mention one of the names of the people here in the picture so you can tell me what these people are doing. For example, um, tell me, David, what Daniel and Sue, Sue I think it's Sue, doing. What are they doing? Daniel and Sue are ride, ride a bike. Okay. Uh, so if they are doing something right now, so the bird will be? Uh, riding a bike. Riding a, riding a bike. Very good. Um, very good. So let's see, Betania, tell me what uh, Anne and John doing. Um, and enjoy doing okay. They having a picnic. They are having a picnic. Excellent. Now let's see, Doris. Tell me what Steve is doing. Doris. Okay. Uh, Axel, tell me what Steve is doing, please. Steve. Yes, Steve is doing. Steve is playing in the skateboard. Excellent. Okay, no, that's the word. Uh, give me one moment. He is. He is skateboarding. Worry. Skateboarding. Ah, uh, skateboarding. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And Raimundo, tell me what um Kim is doing. Um, Kim is walking the dog. Walking the dog. Very good. So this is just the uh, beginning of the information about what is the topic for today's class and it's about present continuous. 
Um, let's read this for me, please. Um, let's see. Ronald. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Read, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the present continuous is made from the present tense of verb B and D, the ENG form of a verb. Example, I am work uh, an X E N G working. Mm -hmm. Flying, he is talking, she is uh, living, it is eating. We are staging. Is uh, they are sleeping. Okay, very good. So you you see, uh, the present continuous form is made from the present tense of the verb be. For example, this is the subject I. Verb to be is am, and the verb of in the ing form. So you can see I am working, okay? Now let's see um, when we have to use the present continuous, okay? There is um, around six, if I'm not mistaken, uses when we have to use the uh, present uh -huh. continuous. So uh, tell me, Claudia. Claudia, can you listen to me? Yes. Okay, read for me, please. This. We use the present continue to talk about activities at the moment of speaking. Example, I'm just leaving work. I will be home in an hour. Please be quiet. The children are sleeping. Put your plan or arrangements. What are you doing next week? Next week? Okay. Um, it's future plans or arrangement. Very good. Thank you, Claudia. So this is one of, well, two ways when we have to use the present continuous. Activities at the moment of speaking. This is the most common that we know when we have to use the present continuous, but there are a lot of uh, ways when we have to use it. Activities at the moment of speaking. So I'm teaching English right now. It's something that I'm doing right now, right? And then future plans or arrangement. And this is a question where, what are you doing next week? It's something that is, um, we can say future plans or arrangement, but it's not like we have an exact decision if it's going to happen or not. I have a um, question. Yes, tell me. In this case, uh, in this case, um, for example, I we I was learning that we will use will when it's future. In this case, it's different. Uh, it's totally different. And will is uh, is when you are sure is when you are sure that you will do it. You okay. will do. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't don't get confused, Bethany. Okay. Now, okay. <laughs> no worries. I, I can explain, but I'm not going to give you the complete information because probably you will get confused. Um, be going to. Yes, this is the other topic when, that we are going to see right now, and this is the one that you are saying when you have already made a decision that you will have something for next week, an example, but you are sure that it's going to happen. But the will, it's something that probably, I'm sorry, the present continues. It's something that is uh, just, you can say it in the future, but you are not sure that is not, that is going to happen. Uh, okay, so when I, no. Mm -hmm. I, I, I will use will when I, is they sure that I will do it. 
the going to. This is oh, the okay. going to. Yes. Oh. But when the we are going to see later the will, because okay. right now for you just not get don't get confused, okay? So okay. present continuous and then be going to. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Betania. So let's see the next way when we have to use the present continuous. There is a lot of information, so I'm going to send this to the uh, WhatsApp chat today, okay? Um, for you to remember, study and practice. Let's see. Um, this is a simple present continuous question. Um, Anna, read the, this, please, for me. Present continuous question. We make question by putting an e, um, e, is or are in front of the subject. Are you listening? Are they coming to, to your party? When is she going home? What I what am I doing here? Thank you so much. So this is simple for you, I think. Um, the question, we just put the verb before the subject and then the verb in the ing form. As you can see, are you listening? Are they coming to your party? When is she going home? What am I doing here? It's uh, verb B first then the subject, and last, uh, you have to uh, put the verb. Let's move to the next one. This is, uh, these are some another ways, other ways for you to use the present continuous. So, Josue Rivas. Hi, teacher. Hello, can you read this for me, please? Okay. We also use the present continuous to talk about something which is happening before and after a specific time. At eight o'clock, we are usually having breakfast. When I when I get home, the children are doing their their homework. Something which we think is temporary. Michael is at university. He's studying history. I'm working in London for the next two weeks. Okay, so the first one is something which is happening before and after a specific time. You see the example, at eight o'clock, we are usually having breakfast. There is a specific time where they are having breakfast. So we have to use the present uh, continuous in this uh, case. Also, the other example says, when I get home, the children are doing their homework. So when she gets home, the children are doing the homework. So there are two, um, two things that are happening at the same time, before and after a specific time, sorry. And the last, and this one, something which we think is temporary, for example, let me ask something. Give me just a moment. Raimundo. Hello? Yes. Okay, I have a question for you. Uh, how many years uh, did you study in the university? Um. Five years. This, Five years. Mm -hmm. This year, um, no se dice como, no se dice egresar. 
um, you are going to finish uh, un the university. You can yes. say it that way. Okay. So as you can see, uh, thank you, Raimundo. Okay. So um, these are the example. We can change the name Michael for Raimundo. Raimundo is at the university. Uh, he is for, he was, I'm sorry, he is studying there for uh, five years, one example. It's just temporary, just for the five years. That is, he is going to study there, but no more than five years. It's not the complete life that he is going to be there, right? Just in a specific period of time that is temporary. If you see the next example, I'm working in London for the next two weeks. So she is working or he is working in London just for two weeks, no more than the two weeks, right? It's something that is temporary. Questions? Do you have any questions? What about the pasantia? How do you say it, teacher? Um, pasantia, let me just think about it. Sorry, I don't remember right now. Um, give me just some, oh yeah. So it's, um, you can say it internships. Internship. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very good. So now I let's working, move on. I am working at the internship in, in the next month. Okay. In the internships next month. Okay, very good. Excellent. <laughs> very good. Okay, now let's see the next one, please. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Oh my gosh, sorry. Okay, so we have here. We have another example. So let's see, Betania, read this for me, please. Okay. Um something which is new and contracts with pre previous state, this date must we, okay, let me, we sort of love our teenagers wearing nowadays. Uh, what sort of music are they listening to? Something which is changing, 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 growing or developing. Um, the the children are growing up quickly. The kid made is changing rapidly. Your English is improving. Something which happens again and again. It's always raining in London. They are always arguing. George is great. He he's always la laughing. Laughing. <laughs> Laughing, excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Betania. So I, you see a lot of information, so don't worry if you don't get the complete information today. Okay. So we are going to continue learning, okay? No worries. Um, this is another way when we have to use the present continuous. Something which is new and contrast with a previous state. This is one question. Um, let me ask to I don't know. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to ask Raimundo because this is the, the only one that I can see the the, <laughs> the picture there. Uh, Raimundo, tell me, what sort of clothes are teenagers wearing nowadays? What do you think? Sort, uh, the meaning of sort is eh, periodicamente. 
right? What type of clothes uh, the teenagers are wearing nowadays? What do you think? Can be boys or girls? Teenagers. Do you know about it? Uh, um, I... Sorry? Uh, <laughs> um, 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 shorts and... Um, Okay, and, yes, okay. Let me ask to Betania. Yes, same question. Yes, what type of clothes are teenagers wearing nowadays? What do you think? Uh, pants, uh, crop tops, yeah. uh, <laughs> me, uh, a lot of uh, beautiful dress, dresses. Dresses, uh -huh. uh, um, Tennis usually uh, is, let me oh. see, um, all, I, I have, I have many friends, so my friends usually use only tennis and pants flojos, no sé, are just are, sneakers, bang, bang pants, joggers? and joggers, yes, yes. And oh, joggers, yes, very, very good, very, very good. <laughs> joggers, and jumpers, and I don't know, they, jumpsuit, they, uh, okay. I think that fashion uh, is, I don't know, I don't know uh, esta moda creo que se llama asteric o algo así. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent. So you see, um, Axel, tell me um, what well, actually they are um, in your, um, we can say in your Decade, I don't know if they were wearing the same or what type of clothes. The clothes. Sure. Clothes, yes. When you were young, what type of clothes um, did you wear? Uh, the people use uh, the jeans and the shirts, sneakers, and the girls. Uh, they 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 uses este how they use the pants eh cómo se llama este eh como como licra okay it's yeah, okay I don't know I don't know, yes. I don't know. <laughs> no worries blows. as you can see I'm sorry blows Mm -hmm. Blouse. Blouses, uh, pants, is, 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 is stretch. Stretch is, is, is the word. Okay. Um, okay. Skier. Okay, very good. As you can see, um, it's new and the contrast with the previous state or we can say epoca, right? So in this case, we can use uh, present continuous to talk about something that is new and but it's not the same as before or a few years ago okay let's see the same is going to be for the music what sorts of music are they listening to most of the teenagers are listening to pop music um k-pop reggaeton <laughs> reggaeton yes but bonnie yeah. Uh, yes. R and B and rap too. Mm -hmm. Yes, but a few years ago, what they were listening. In my case, um, let me see. Epocas doradas. Pop music, yes. Uh, uh, you can say that. Romantic, <laughs> romantic. Uh, I was. I remember when I was a child. I. I was listening to uh, Monica Naranjo, Faye, Enrique Iglesias. Mm. Uh, let me see. I don't remember. What okay. Else, but... Yes, but was totally different from the music that they are listening right now, right? Totally different. <laughs> okay. So you can use the present continuous when you are talking about 
something that is happening um, now, but a few years ago was totally different. Okay, the other one is uh, something is changing or something is changing, growing or developing. Something that it can change rapidly or quickly, we can say. For example, here we have the children are growing up quickly. The climate is changing rapidly. For example, some days are hot, another days are cold. So we have this uh, climate very um, different, okay? So, and the last one is your English is improving. So you are growing and developing the language. Oh, sorry. And let's see the last one. Something which happens again and again. This is an example. It's always raining in London. We can say an example in our country. Um, there is always um, traffic in the mornings, an example, right? It's always that happen again and again. Okay, let's see some exercises. Um, let's see um, number one. Can you do this for me, please, Doris? Yes, I can read. She's cooking dinner. She's cooking dinner. It's something that is happening at the moment, right? Claudia, yeah. let's do the number two. Thank you, Doris. We are watching a movie. We are watching a movie. Yes. Um, uh, Ronald, number three, please. Okay. Uh, number three? Yes. He is speaking English. Excellent. David, number five, please. Uh, number five, you are a student in the classroom. You are a student? A studying. You're studying in the classroom. Excellent. Um, Raimundo, number seven, please. Uh, the man are doing, to, doing the laundry? Doing the laundry, yes. Thank you. Um, let's see, Anna, number seven, please. Right now, the students are reading. Right now, the students are reading. Okay, very good. And the last one, Josue, number nine, please. The teacher and I are sitting in the classroom. Excellent, very good. Let me check if I'm able to play the video because last class I I, I didn't do it because I have I had problems. Just give me one moment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what happened? Oh my god. <clears throat> Just a moment. <sighs> Okay, no, I can do it. Mm -hmm. 
Michelle, one question. Yes. Uh, how do you say moda? Fashion. Fashion. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Um, you're welcome. Let's see. Well, actually, I will send this to your chat, to the WhatsApp chat, for you to practice and watch the video because uh, I don't know what happened with my computer again. Okay, so now we're going to see the future be going to. Okay, um, let's see. <clears throat> Josue, can you read this for me, please? Okay, teacher. Be going to form. We use be going to plus the base form of the bear. I'm going to take a few exams at the end of the years. It's going to be dif difficult to get a job during the summer as the tourist industry is suffering from the economic downturn. Okay, excellent. So you can see um, the be going to form, we use the be. Actually, we have to use the subject. Remember, I, you, he, she, it. After the verb be. Can be am, is, or are. Going to, you can see the going to, plus the verb in the base form. So the verb does not change, so you have to say it in the same form. See the example. I'm going to take a few exams at the end of the year. It's going to be difficult to get a job during the summer as the tourist industry is suffering from the economic downturn. Now let's move on to the next part. Okay, so there are some uses as the same as we see uh, with the present continuous. As I mentioned, there is a lot of information for you to remember, but it's going to be um, step by step. So you have to learn first. If you don't remember, so I can still send the information to your WhatsApp chat. So tell me, Axel, can you read this for me, please? Uh, which one, teacher? Excuse me. All of the the the, the slide, please. The page. Uh, we, we're going to use to use. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yes. Intention. Uh, we are we are be going to talk about future plans and intentions. Usually, the decision, the, the decision about the future plans has already been made. She's going to to be a professional dancer when she's grown up. I am going to, I'm going to look for a new place to live to live. Next week, next month, excuse me. Okay, thank you so much. So this is one of the uses about intentions, okay? So this is going to be, going to talk about future plans and intentions. Usually the decision about future plans has already been made. This is what Betania was telling me at the beginning with the present continuous. Okay, that's the difference between present continuous and be going to. We are not going to talk about will because it's a separate topic, um, <laughs> totally different from the one that we are seeing right now. Okay. And <laughs> uh, and actually, uh, I will. I will ask you <laughs> about that, but 
Yes, and right now, silence. No. silence. Yes, <laughs> right now, no, because probably we are going to get confused because now we are just talking about two topics, right? If we <laughs> talk about another one, probably it's going to be a totally mess. <laughs> but thank you, Betania. I'm going to send some information for you to 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 practice or remember something that is not clear at all with will and be going to okay 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 so now let's see here it's the difference between present continuous and be going to and be going to we use about future plans and intentions but has already been made so it's a decision that we already took that it's going to happen look Number one, as, a, and as an example, she is going to be a professional dancer when she grows up. And I'm going to look for a new place to live next month. So she, she is going to look for a new place for sure to live next month, okay? And the present continues, it's not something that is going to happen. It's just saying that um, probably, or I'm going to, or let's see, I'm visiting my family next week, but I'm not saying that it's going to happen. Probably I can say, I'm going to visit my family on Saturday, next Saturday. I'm saying a day and I took a decision, right? That's the difference between both. Any question about this or it's clear? In simple words, present continuous is not, you, you didn't take the decision, but with going to, you have the decision that it's going to happen. That's it. Any questions? No? Um, no. No, okay. no, no, teacher. Okay. Another way to use um, the going to, it's about predictions and comments. Um, help me out reading this, uh, Ronald, please. Yes, teacher. Yes. Prediction. We use the going to predict sometimes. Some some things mm -hmm. um, are not. Yes, that, something. That, that we uh, think is certain to happen or which we have evidence for now. Uh, it is going to is now again soon. Uh, the speaker can probably see dark now close. Or uh, look out, look out. He is going to break that glass. Uh, continue. Continue. Yes. Uh, comments. We we use be going to when we hear comments or state that something is obligatory. Parent to a child, you are go, going to pick up all of those toys right now. This room is a mess. Okay, thank you, Ronald. Yeah. Um, these are another ways to use um, the going to. Um, when we have to use it when we predict something that we think sure that is going to happen, or we have evidence or proofs for now. For example, it's going to, I'm saying an example, it's going to rain today. I'm seeing the sky, it's dark, so it's going to, to, to rain today or soon, we can say, because I'm seeing the clouds and the sky is very dark. I'm sure that it's going to happen, right? And the other one is commands. We use be going to when we give commands or state that something is obligatory. 
and for the ones that have daughters or sons, when you are saying so, you are going to pick up everything right now, or I'm going to, um, I'm not going to give you something, for example. Okay, so you are doing, um, you have to use the be going to when you are uh, give comments, okay? Mm, let's see, oh my gosh. Any question with this too? Questions? You will, send, it, you will uh, send the presentation, right? Yes, today. <laughs> yes. Yes, because, because it's a lot of information. information. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, these are some examples. Um, well, exercises for you to practice right now. And we can just say some of them, not all of them. Um, let's see. Axel, tell me number one, please. Number one. Mm -hmm. One moment. One minute. Okay. I am going to learn. A, excuse me. What is the the example? Uh, no, the example. No, this the next one. This ah. one. This. I am here tomorrow. I am here married tomorrow. Okay. Look at the verb. Meeting. Okay, so say it. I. I am. I. Meeting. Okay, remember, uh, we are talking about going to. So use the going to. I am. I am going to meet he tomorrow. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Um, let's see, Raimundo, number two, please. They are drive to park to Pedro. Sorry, can you repeat one more time? Uh, they are drive uh, to Pedro. Uh, drive, driving, or they are going to drive. They are go to drive. <laughs> yes, remember, we are talking about going to. <laughs> Thank you, Raimundo. Ana, the next one, please. He is going to go to the football match. Can you repeat one more time? He is going to go to the football match. Okay, very good. Let's do number six. Um, David, please. Uh, they are going to offer them tea. Excellent. Doris, number seven, please. My friends are going to their holidays in um, sorry. My friends are going to spend their holidays in Langari. Langarki. Sorry. It's okay, Doris. Okay. Langarki. Langarki. <laughs> yes. It's uh, probably it's a place, but <laughs> no worries. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Now mm -hmm. we're going to try to remember some of the things that we uh, learned today with a game, okay? We're going to practice with a game. Do you see my screen? Yes? Yes. Okay, so let's start. We are going to learn or remember and be going to and present continuous. So there are some sentences that you have to 
uh, choose one option if it's going to be um, be going to or present continuous, okay? So let's start. Okay, so this is a sentence. I to London tomorrow afternoon. What is the complete answer? So it has to be letter A, B, C, or D. A. Letter? A. A. Okay, let's see. Uh, Betania says letter A. Who else says another one? Answer? B. Letter B. B. B? Letter B. <laughs> okay. Letter B. Okay, let's see. Mm. Very good, Betan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, he fall look. Mm -hmm. So he is going, is falling. What do you think is the number two? B. Try, try to, to say it. Yes, Betani? Letter B. B? Do you think the rest is letter B? Um, no, maybe letter C. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Anna, Ronald, Axel, Raimundo, what do you think? Letter David? C. C? B. B? B yes. Okay, raise your hand in the in the here. Who thinks that is letter B? He is going to fall. Look. Okay, David says letter B. Who else? Raise your hand. Nobody? Okay, so I will maybe this is. B. Yeah, maybe. Okay, yes, that's the answer. <laughs> okay. I, you with your homework. Don't worry. Um, I am helping. I am going to help. I'm going to help. I'm going, I'm going help. And the number three, four, I'm sorry, letter D. I'm going to help him. That's not true. What do you think is the correct one? Letter A. Letter A? Mm, letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Letter A. <laughs> okay, so letter A or letter B? Letter B. Okay, let's letter B. Yes. <laughs> okay. I, friends, tomorrow at seven. Letter C. Okay. Letter C. Are you um, agree B. with Betania? Yes. Just Betania's answer. What happened with the rest? Try. Make mistakes. B. B. Yeah. Letter B. D? B. 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 Letter B. Okay. Hmm. Okay, very good. For the one that answered, letter C. Okay. Uh -huh. It. <laughs> The sky is gray. It's snowing, it's going to snowing, it's snowing, it's going to snow. 
it is going to snowing. No, snowing? No, no. no, it's it's going to snow. Okay. The sky is gray. Um, let's see. Anna, do you think it's correct? Okay, okay. Letter D? Letter D. Okay. Raimundo, what do you think? Letter D. Okay. Let's see. Excellent. Are you going to the club today? I, there as I have a headache. Um, let me see. Are you going to the club today? A. I'm not going to. Okay. A. The rest? Okay. Raimundo says letter yes, A. Letter A. Yes, letter A. Okay. Ronald, what do you think is this one? Letter A. Okay. Let's see. Mm, yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yes. So the next one, we computer games. When we arrive home, I have just bought the games. Okay. Be playing. Are going to play. Which one? Let it be. Let it be. Okay, letter B. Okay, so it's letter B. Everyone agree with the answer? Axel? Letter B. B. Yes. <laughs> My friend and I dinner on Tuesday. So it's I'm having, be having, are going to have, or having, or having. D. D? Are, are going to have dinner on Tuesday. Let her see. Letter C. Who says letter D? Me. Who me? <laughs> oh, Jose. Okay. So we have letter C and letter D. I'm going to ask someone. Uh, Raimundo, what do you think is this one? Um, I think in letter B, I don't know. Okay, David. I think it's letter C. Okay, we have two and two. Doris, what do you think? Is letter C or D? Letter D. Okay, we will have letter D. My friend yeah. and I are having dinners on Thursday. Excellent. Thursday. Yes. <laughs> we use, okay, this is um, one of the uses. We use for a plan or intention for the future. What do you think is? Present continuous, be going to, or future continuous? To be going to letter A. Letter A? Yes. A. We use for a plan or intention for the future. <clears throat> Let's see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. We use for future arrangement. Present continuous, be going to future continuous. What do you letter think? B. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Okay. May. Maybe. 
now maybe. <laughs> so you are not sure. It is, it is the same okay. uh, example before. We use for future arrangement. Okay, you said letter B, I will just do it. Mm -mm. Present continuous, remember, future continuous. plans or arrangement. Okay, we use for predictions based on evidence. Future simple, be going to, future continuous. Oh, letter B, teacher. Letter B. Very good. Eight out of 11, okay, very good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, I don't want to continue. <laughs> okay, very good guys. I think that we need to study more. I, I understand, I totally understand that this topic is very huge. So you are not going to have everything on your mind right now, but I'm going to send you this to your WhatsApp chat for you to have it, okay? I need you uh, to ask you, well, and give me a favor right now. Let me just verify what time is it. Okay. I need you because um, they told me that I need to do this right now. I need you to open your camera because I need to take a picture from the group. Please. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see the rest. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> yes, uh, Betania. Uh, open the camera, please. Just because we need to take, I need to take a picture from the group. Okay. Give me a second, please. Give me a second. Thank you. Because I was receiving something from oh, my parents. Okay. Okay, <laughs> Doris, the homework. Thank you. <laughs> the oh, homework I see. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Claudia, Anna. Just for one minute. Okay, thank you, Betania. Okay, let's see. So thank you, Anna. Okay. Let's see, one, two, three. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for being here. So we will see you tomorrow. I hope you Thank have you a great know. day, evening, night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.